Listen, Red. Do you get that you can extract five times more filth than usual from the portal? Five times. Do you get it? I'll show you how. First of all, you're not alone. There are three of you for the task. Each of you will get the same amount of filth that your team's able to extract. The idea here is not just about cramming your hold with filth, but the holds of your allies too, and then dashing away together. Are you clear on that? Then let's proceed. If a ship is sent to the bottom, the team will receive just 20% of what she collected. Now imagine that all three captains of a team go down and feed the portal's fish. As a result, you'll receive five times less filth than you might have. Let that sink in. If you want to make a profit, the whole team must survive each raid. Let's talk about the hot stuff. So you're in the world of the portal. First, you need to annihilate some enemies. As soon as you do, your entire team will each receive a consumable. Consumables are highly valuable. They can help when there's no other way out, so use them wisely. A zone will appear where you destroy an enemy. The filth lies within, and you need to enter the zone to collect it. You know that already. I'll just remind you that the quicker you enter the zone, the more filth you'll collect. It's simple. The filth will vanish right before your eyes. Now listen carefully. If you're playing a destroyer and your allied battleship is close to the zone, let them enter first. A destroyer has a smaller hold, but they can reach filth zones much faster, so it's easier for them to fill their guts. But destroyers are slower at collecting filth than battleships, which collect filth almost instantaneously. Got it? Repeat that until all your holds are full and the portal back home will open. Then just get back home safe. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding about filling your holds. It's not so easy. You really need to excel for that. Sure, there are some alternative ways. You can obtain filth for sinking an unfortunate from another team, but you'll collect only as much filth as your victim was able to collect. If they haven't collected anything, you won't get anything. Think about that. The best method is to take down the big boss, but it's the hardest way and nigh impossible without consumables. So get to know what you're capable of. If you're lucky enough to take the boss down, your cargo holds will be full. However, some serious skills are required for that. Don't forget to get home through the portal, otherwise the only place you'll be taking your cargo is to the bottom. Regarding the getaway part, there may even be an ambush near the portal. That's when consumables might come in handy as well. I won't describe any of the ship types you weren't born yesterday, but hear me out about leveling. You'll start sailing on an old ship, but nevertheless a tested and reliable one. The more filth you extract, the faster you'll get a new ship. It won't be very new, of course, but it will be somehow modified using the portal's technology. The modified ships were born for teamwork. All of their consumables provide bonuses not only to themselves, but to their teammates also. When you get used to the new world, and even Rasputin represents no challenge for you, and if you decide that you're a lone wolf, then take the helm of a portal world ship. These monsters will always be monsters. You may just have the skill and courage to complete a raid alone. It really might happen. Then you can choose for yourself how to spend your filth. The greater the reward, the more expensive the filth. That's about it. Good luck, Red.